was 1946. India was preparing to transform into a free nation. But the stark reality was the widespread poverty in the country caused by centuries of colonial exploitation. Mahatma Gandhi had then emphasized the need for rural development when he said, we cannot retain independence in Delhi unless our farmers achieve economic independence in every village. The Mahatma had come to a distant village in Pune district called Uruli Kanchan to set up a nature cure ashram for providing affordable health care to the rural people. To make his dream come true, Gandhiji selected a young dynamic associate, Manibhai Desai. Deeply moved by the people's struggle for survival, Manibhai began to search for innovative solutions to transform their lives. Be it from unproductive or unremunerative cattle, from endemic poverty and distress migration, or from degraded and barren land unsuitable for cultivation. Launching a scientific mission for rural development, in 1967, Manibhai founded the Bharatiya Agro Industries Foundation. It was later renamed as Bayev Development Research Foundation. Bayev set forth a rural revolution with a strong scientific backbone. A central research station was established at Uruli Kanchan near Pune for conducting research in livestock development, integrated farming, soil and water conservation and related developments. The saga of Bayev is a story of rural transformation. A transformation from unproductive cattle that yielded merely one to two litres of milk per day to high milk yielding elite cows and buffaloes. Large scale scientific program on livestock breeding was taken up with improved genetics from both exotic and indigenous breeds of dairy animals. That time the milk production potential of the local indigenous cows was very very low even less than one liter. So after doing a lot of research and uh, looking after the crossbreeding programs at the military dairy farm, Manibhaiji Desai decided to take cow as an instrument to improve the remuneration to the poor families. Pioneering innovative doorstep delivery of artificial insemination services for the benefit of villagers even in far-flung areas. These efforts were supplemented with measures for improved animal nutrition and health care. I couldn't believe myself that I would get original breed of ewe from Baif. Currently, the cattle I have are inseminated by Baif. I have them since the past 10 years and I am getting maximum benefits. In the 1980s, Bayev introduced the Vadi program in tribal areas. It's a tree-based integrated farming system that provides diversified farm-based livelihoods for the permanent rehabilitation of poor families. Previously, we used to travel to Bilimora, Nausari, Chikli for work. When mangoes started giving good returns, we stopped migrating for labor. Developing expertise in conservation of soil and water through area-specific management of natural resources have helped to create permanent agricultural ecosystems. We promote the entire value chain approach in water management. Right from introduction of technologies, improvement in water management practices, increase the water availability, access, efficiency. Yet the touchstone of all these efforts is the benefit they bring to the common man. 
The centrality of all BIAF programs is thus the deprived rural family. It's been 20 years since I got married. Earlier we had two buffaloes, but now we own eight cattle and we are benefiting a lot. We work hard in the field to provide good fodder to our cattle, which results in more milk production. Apart from remunerative livelihoods, these programs have led to improved quality of life while empowering the rural communities with enhanced skills and knowledge. The program has been farmer-centric. We roped in the farmer at every phase of development. So farmer became a partner in the beginning. Now he is the owner of the program. Across five decades, Bayev has achieved several new milestones in rural development through scientific interventions and today impacts the lives of over 4 million poor families annually in more than 80,000 villages in 16 states of the country. This five-decade journey has been vitalized by close working partnerships at national and international levels. Encouraged by the backing of eminent dignitaries and thought leaders and various recognitions that were conferred upon Bayev throughout this journey. The journey continues in newer directions, seeking newer solutions to emerging needs and challenges through state-of-the-art research complexes, experimental farms, training centers, and over 4,000 field development centers across the country. Expanding the roots of farmers' progress, Bayev provides technical and managerial expertise to establish cooperative food processing units, helping farmers to realize better value for their farm produce by moving up the value chain and providing protection from the vagaries of market. These efforts have also helped to generate off-farm local employment opportunities within the rural areas. A gender-inclusive approach has helped to empower women build social capital and has catalyzed improvement in the quality of life in rural areas. Bayev stays abreast of the latest technologies and constantly innovates solutions to adapt itself to address the emerging challenges of the 21st century. Be there local imperatives to diversify livelihood portfolios for the rural poor or addressing climate change effects. Over the last 50 years, Bayev has reached a position of inner strength. This strength comes not only from the outreach that the programs have, not only from the diversity, not only from the impacts that are created in the field, but also from the clarity and from the strong processes that exist in the organization. The relevance and replication potential of BIOS diverse solutions has allowed for large-scale adoption of its programs by the government and other national institutions as well as help shape many development policies in various sectors. For over five decades, the seed sowed by Dr. Manibhai Desai has taken strong roots across the country thanks to the committed pursuits of hundreds of professionals and buyers who have been leading this silent revolution. This endeavor has been well supported by donors from across the world, be they development funding agencies, philanthropic organizations or corporate houses. It is very rare to find one institution you know, having such 6,000 employees, 1,000 volunteers, I have been working in over 80,000 villages in 15 states, working closely with state governments, central government. I think that is a unique combination that one institution can bring so much.
as it crosses the golden jubilee, Bayef is well poised to lend wings to the dreams of well-being of both the people and the planet by constantly expanding the roots of rural transformation.